Hello and welcome to another video from Inside of Blackpool. In this video we're going to take you on a virtual pub tour of South Shore. Uh, we'll start at uh, the Weatherspoons, which is on the promenade opposite um, South Pier. Then we'll take you all the way down London Road and end up at the Happy Scots uh, Bar, which is near Bigby Road. Unfortunately, due to current COVID restrictions, we weren't able to go into any of the pubs which we visit um, on this tour. However, hopefully it will help some of you reminisce or get a feel of what pubs are on offer in this area of the town. So without further ado, let's go to the first pub in this pub run, um, and it's a Velvet Coaster, a Weatherspoons pub along with Promenade. So the first pub being a Weatherspoons needs very little by way of um, introduction. It offers all your standard um, Weatherspoons food and drinks. Um, this one is a particularly good one though, um, it's uh, assets for the promenade. It hosts uh, a balcony and an open air terrace on the top floor. If you're able to get a seat um, on the balcony, it's a great place to sit in the sun, um, people watch, or sit and watch the sun go down. Next destination on our virtual pub run is a pub called The Last Resort. This is about a four minute walk around the corner from the Velvet Coaster. Um, it's on Bond Street. Um, this pub boasts quite cheap drinks. Uh, we don't know offhand how cheap, um, but it is quite renowned locally for serve, serving cheap drinks. Um, this one also shows sporting events. It's got some big screens in the pub. So if you're in the local area and you're looking for somewhere to uh, go and watch uh, football or boxing etc then this is one um, which you can add to your list. So next up is a quaint little pub located on Walsley Road um, not far from the last orders called The Bull. Um, the Bull has quite a loyal um, local following um, it's very popular um, it hosts karaoke some nights um, on DJs other nights. Um, it's full of characters, a uh, really welcoming place to be. So from one of the smallest pubs in Blackpool, we go to um, a larger one anyway, um, the Dog and Partridge. This one's just around the corner on Living Road. Uh, it hosts a snooker table, I think it's three quarter size, um, and numerous, numerous dartboards. Um, there's no food in this pub, but that's not a problem as um, on the way around there, down um, Waterloo Road, you'll pass a couple of um, sandwich shops, and across the road, there's um, a KFC. Next up, literally a stone's throw away from the Dog and Partridge, is Mark Kelly's South. Um, Mark Kelly's are pretty renowned throughout town, um, with locals and tourists alike. Um, open late, um, and throughout the day have um, various singers on, um, doing numbers. These we pass drinks, um, they also do karaoke, um, so really epitomises what Blackpool is all about, um, entertainment and fun throughout the day. And just a little bit further down the road from uh, Mark Ellis, we have the new Albert. Um, it's called the new Albert because, um, well, there was an old Albert. That was quite a rough pub, um, but it was taken over by the same um, same guy who owns all the Mark Ellis in the town. Um, and he's created this one as a sports pub. So it has a pool table in there, darts board, um, TV screens all over the place. And last time we went in, it did have sports memorabilia on the walls. However, we think they've all been taken down now and uh, relocated to a, a different uh, Mark Ellis uh, in town. Uh, we awaited reopening to see if that's, uh, that's still the case. Next up, just a short hop away, is the Excelsior. This pub actually um, has three floors. Um, the top floor used to have um, pool and snooker tables on, the second floor, a lounge, and the bottom floor, just a, a general pub with pool table, dartboard, um, and uh, TVs, etc. Now, this pub gets very popular um, on match days. Um, 
but it's fairly inconsistent um, on other days. You, you never know if you're going to turn up and it'll be ab absolutely packed or quiet as a mouse. And travelling further along Liven Road, we next get to the Old Bridge. Um, this is, well, to be honest, a fairly standard pub um, at first sight. You go in, it's got a pool table, um, a dartboard, and even sells balm cakes behind the um, behind the bar. But this one is a little bit different than the others uh, that were covered so far. This one has a cabaret type um, bar at the back where they have a stage. And often, especially during the season, they have uh, singers on to keep you entertained. And the final stop on this uh, virtual pub run is the Happy Scott. The Happy Scott is actually um, two bars. You have the Happy Scott upstairs and the Yellow Submarine bar downstairs. The Happy Scott is a pretty standard um, bar you'd find in Blackpool. Um, often has a DJ on during the day, um, popular with locals and tourists alike. Uh, very popular with stag dudes. Downstairs, the Yellow Submarine Bar, that's a new offering. Um, we've not visited it. Um, it's only opened this year in 2020 and obviously due to COVID restrictions, um, there's been quite a limited window of uh, when people have been able to attend that. But by all means, it looks uh, like it's going to be a great addition to the Blackpool pub scene. Thank you for watching and remember, please drink responsibly and hit that subscribe button.